And while Washington decides what to do with the nation's debt ceiling, many folks back home are sharing their concerns with local lawmakers. A couple local congressmen say the people they represent have been burning up their phone lines today. News Channel 15's Adam Widener talks to those congressmen. And Adam, what are people around here saying? Well, I spoke with Marlon Stutzman and Mike Pence about it today. Both say they've heard a lot of different opinions from local folks speaking up about that debt debate. Is it perfect? Far from it. Will I vote for it today? Yes. The American people don't just want a deal, they want a solution. Both Marlon Stutzman and Mike Pence hit the House floor during today's debt debate. Both urged Congress to support the Boehner plan. If left to its own devices, Washington would have completed just another perfunctionary raising of the debt ceiling or worse, more taxes and more spending. But behind the scenes, their offices have been flooded with phone calls. Folks in the area seemingly divided on what to do with our nation's debt. Folks are saying don't raise the debt ceiling to do some sort of compromise, figure something out. I think our calls have been fairly divided between people who are just anxious to see Congress solve this problem and those who uh, support the Boehner plan and those who oppose the Boehner plan. Stutzman praised the Tea Party for its involvement in the debt ceiling debate. No matter how many times you try to put them down or call them names, the Tea Party movement and many others that share their views have had a monumental impact on the debt ceiling debate. Saying while Washington aims to reach a compromise, democracy wins when folks at home speak up. Whether we agree or disagree, being engaged and being involved in the dialogue is, is our number one responsibility as citizens. Now today, Pence called the Boehner plan a compromise. Both congressmen expect the House to pass the plan. They say the pressure is on the Senate and President Obama to prove to the American people that a compromise can be made. Well, to be continued, we'll see what happens tonight and in the days to come. Thanks, Adam.